would like to express very deep appreciation to people of Lao for the efforts that they have exhibited during the recent past when we came and went round to consult uh, them over land and then age limits. And then when Dr. Bessinger, the former presidential candidate, and then our engineer came here to consult our rallies so that they would go and touch it out on the 24th of this month in Kampala. Unfortunately, they were not welcomed by the police. Even ourselves, we were not welcomed by the police. And we are wondering if the police, this is a police country or it is a tear gas country, so that everywhere we are holding meetings, we must be tear gas. This is very unfortunate. And we want to condemn this in the strongest possible terms ever, and that this kind of atrocities will live with those who have been doing it. And we shall never forget it, because this is bad for this country, this is bad for our democracy, this is bad for our unity which they want to destroy. I know the intention of divide and rule policy, which is very unfortunate for us in Lama. We used to enjoy the partnership of working together, talking to our people together, and then sharing the values of being a Lama. You know, learning we are given an opportunity by the white man and then given an emblem of a rhinoceros. Not for nothing, because of four principles, four values. That is, we are very humble people. We are very intelligent people. We are just very kind people. We can easily forgive. And lastly, we are the wildest people on earth. And sometimes, if you don't know, you try them, you will find the truth about it. We have examples here and there. And therefore, what we deserve should be given to us. Development, you cannot nail down before any president to get it. You cannot exchange it with anything except that we pay taxes to develop this country. And therefore, our share is there which we deserve it. And when we want it, when we demand it, it should be given to us. We have developed schools, hospitals, roads in this sub-region without any challenge. Government knows it very well. The incumbent government knows it very well. Anyway, unfortunately, they have abandoned the history of this country. They want to start history in 1986. Therefore, forgetting the past, which is very unfortunate. We are now calling the people of Uganda and the people of Laura, we are tired of one man's rule. We are very tired of one party's rule. Museveni can easily go through, that is where we are trapped in. Because he can buy the votes, he can rig the votes, he can intimidate with all the powers he has, which is our power. So we want to withdraw our power by not allowing him. That's why we have given him a red card. He has been given the yellow cards. He has been violating it. He has not been respecting it. So this time, Ugandans have risen up with a red card for him not to come and confess anymore. So we stand together to ensure that it becomes a success. So I want to wish the people of Lam that unity and then wish them love and then prayer so that God can guide us. Even bad rulers come. Good rulers come when they come in the middle, they turn out to be bad rulers. And this is exactly what is happening now. So we continue to pray to God, to hear our prayers, and then change this country in the way, in the direction that people of Uganda demand. So people of Uganda.